Hello, I'm Mike Stewart, Domain Expert Geomodeling with Sequent. In this video, I am going to explain some of the recent improvements that have been made to LeapFrog's powerful Vane modeling tool. The Vane tool was initially developed for modeling of the gently curved open geometries typical of most veins and faults, and it does this brilliantly. It sometimes struggled, however, when faced with more complex vein geometries or with some types of real-world data, such as underground face sampling. Recent changes to the Vane tool have focused on increasing its flexibility to handle a greater range of data and geometry types, while retaining the fully dynamic nature of the workflow. Let's take a look. In LeapFrog 21.1, we introduced an option to allow multiple intersections per drill hole which results in the treatment of separate intersections in a drill hole as separate segment pairs. This benefits the modelling of complex geometries such as folds, where drill holes may pass through more than one limb, or where acute drill hole angles may result in holes that pass in or out of surfaces. In 2021.2, we have made the creation of interval midpoints optional for vein intersections that do not have a contact in lithology. This has benefits when incorporating drilling that does not traverse the full width of the structure. Some common examples where this may occur are where drill holes must be abandoned within a vein or fault due to ground conditions and do not tag the far wall, where drill holes are collared from within a structure, or where vein contacts are not exposed in mine openings and are thus not represented in the pseudo drill holes used to represent face sampling. Removing the midpoints associated with such incomplete intersections ensures that these do not influence the reference plane. The reference plane is key to determining vein geometry. In the original implementation of the vein tool, we deliberately imposed a relatively stiff auto-generated reference plane. While that worked very well for the types of gently curved structures described earlier, it does not represent more complex geometries very effectively. In LeapFrog 2021.1, we added the option of using any valid open mesh as a reference plane. This opened up the possibility of creating complex reference plane meshes using the suite of advanced editing tools present in the meshes folder. Polylines and structural disks, trend directions and anisotropy, and the various interpolant options. In 2021.2, we have made this workflow fully dynamic by allowing meshes to be created directly from vein midpoints. It is now possible to create highly complex vein geometries that remain fully dynamic to the changes in the input data. Changes have also been made to facilitate the inevitable editing that is required to cope with imperfections in input data and to finesse vein models. Bulk editing of vein components allows the rapid selection and modification of interval segments, midpoints, and pinch outs. We now allow all user-made edits to veins to be exported to an easily readable text file format, providing a valuable record of changes made. And we also allow vein edits to be re-imported, allowing veins to be easily recreated. A welcome change for many will be the introduction of vein boundary polyline sharing. Boundary polylines can now be shared through the polylines folder in the same way that polylines created in other surface modeling tools can be shared, allowing the same boundary to be applied to multiple vein surfaces or a boundary to be copied to a new vein and edited. A small change that has benefited many is the ability to use adaptive isosurfacing on veins. This allows veins to be rendered with high resolution around data, but at much lower resolution at the margins, resulting in vein models with far fewer vertices and thus far smaller file sizes when exported. Vein systems are excellent for managing the interactions between veins. A frustration for many people has been that vein systems could only produce a single merged output volume, and additional steps were required if the veins within a vein system were to be evaluated back onto drilling or onto a block model. 
A change has been made to the way lithologies are assigned to veins within a vein system that means separate output volumes can now be generated for individual veins. A new lithologies tab has been added to the vein dialog, allowing individual veins in a vein system to be assigned their own code. What's more, the changes can be applied retrospectively to veins in existing vein systems. As you can see, a lot has been happening and there is more in the pipeline. We are strongly committed to enhancing and extending the functionality of LeapFrog to ensure it remains the premier modelling tool for geologists and geological modelling. We encourage you to download the latest version of LeapFrog and explore the great new features contained in this release.